tablet was clicked into my Estoffel Seeger channel. It's been a plethora of the technical difficulties tonight. So, <laughs> so at any rate, I feel really blonde or senior moments or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to go to my other channel and delete that little bitty start of a live stream that I did for this same <laughs> recipe. But anyways, we'll get started. I'm going to show you guys what ingredients you need to make this really fast chili. It's basically most of the stuff that I use. <laughs> Hello there, sweetheart. It's basically most of the stuff that I typically use anyways. So first I'm going to make sure that I've got chat over here connected to my phone while I leave my Android device here filming and hopefully you guys can see everything good. I hope you can see the stove top there and what I got going on. So I'll bring over the ingredients and I'll show you what goes into this. Okay. First off, you're going to need a pound. This is just a pound of ground beef. Uh, I think that's 80% lean. Then you're going to take, I like to use about a half of an onion. You're going to use a half of an onion. Uh, for your spices, you're going to need, you're going to need cayenne pepper, some chili pepper. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Some ground cumin. Okay. And then just a, whatever you prefer for a chili seasoning packet. Okay. Just one. You only need one. Okay, and then you're going to need, I like to use a lot of tomatoes in mine. I really, really like a nice tomato base in mine. So I use some diced tomatoes. Um, and if you can get the ones that are in basil that have been roasted, oh, the best, the best. So I use those. And of course I have everything pre-opened and a can of the, uh, you know, these are like Rotelli, same thing, you know, with the peppers in them, the green chilies. Okay. Then I use one can of this. This is a small can. I get all this stuff from all of you guys. The tomato sauce, just plain sauce. Okay. And then a can of red chili beans. and a can of black beans. Okay. All right. Fijoles. So we will get started on this and I will get chat going on my phone so that I can keep tra track of chat because I won't be able to like keep my eye on the camera and do this at the same time. So if I have my phone over here, I can watch what you guys are saying. So. Ah. Uh. we have all of the technical difficulties worked out I will be chopping this onion and I will start cooking this ground beef once I get this onion in there so
this up. I didn't pre-cut. I didn't pre-cut my onions because that way, if you know, if I if I remove a digit, you guys get to see it on live stream. So that'll be really fun, too. And uh, yeah, so I like to cut mine up pretty small. Hi, you sure you You sweet boy. I know I can't pet you on cooking dinner. Yeah, I'm just cooking your late dinner, sure enough. Hi, Brittners. Uh, the kids are in here with me. The fur babies are running around, so. You'll hear me talking to them from time to time. What's that you say, Michelle? That's right. I don't, I don't cry. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you can see how much that looks chopped up. You see? Okay, so we're going to add that into the pan here. Quit. So the way that I like to do it is I like to add just a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan. Okay, so that uh, the onions will saute nice in there. Cisco, stop it. About a quarter cup of water, not a whole lot. Just enough to help uh, loosen that meat up while we're chopping that up. So I'm going to get a spatula. I'm going to go ahead and chop that meat up. Cisco, that's enough. So this is one pound of ground beef, okay? Cisco, that's enough. medium-high heat, not really much more than that. I don't want it to, like, scorch in the pan. I want the onions to caramelize a little bit, but I also want the uh, hamburger to cook a little bit slowly. Otherwise, it'll become tough. So... <laughs> That's right. They can hear a mouse fart is exactly right. Little buggers. What he thought he heard. Cisco is the instigator here. It's it's Cisco that's always the first to bark, the wawa. Always Cisco. Always. The well wawa. got that ground beef and everything kind of chopped up together and mixed together real well with the onions in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add this packet before the, the um, ground beef actually starts to, to cook thoroughly. I want it poured in there while it's still in the red stage. And I'm going to go ahead and my other seasonings while it's at that red stage. And this is totally to your liking. That's probably about a quarter, a quarter teaspoon of the chili powder. 
Now we're going to get into the ground cumin, and I'm going to put about the same in there as that as the chili powder. And then just a dash of this cayenne pepper. That's it for the seasonings. That's all we're going to need. We're going to go ahead and stir that in while that ground beef is, is cooking, while it's still in that red stage while it's cooking. So it can be seeping into the meat. And the onions, so they meld, marry together, meld together. Okay, I'm going to turn that heat down just a little bit. I don't want that hamburger to brown too quickly, and it was starting to get a little bit too hot. I want to give the hamburger and the onions a chance. I want the onions to caramelize a little bit. So if you do it too fast, you'll burn your onions and kind of lose the potency that the onions will give you into the meat. Yes, ma'am. To totally to taste <laughs> those spices. If you get carried away, I mean, I like mine with a, just a hint of heat. Not a whole lot of heat. When you start adding the beans, that really brings the heat down. So this dish takes about, depending on how fast of a cook you are, and you know, depending on how long it takes you to caramelize your onions. If you have a, a gas uh, stove top, it, you can control the temperature a little bit better than electric smooth top like this. At any rate, should take around 35 minutes to 40 minutes for the dish from start to finish. Now I stir mine pretty regular. I don't like my, I don't like, I want my hamburger really finely chopped up. Um, so I stir mine quite regularly. I don't like great big chunks of meat in there. I like it to just almost melt into the, into the uh, dish. Can you see, can you see what I'm doing okay? Can you? Can you see that all right? I hope you can see okay. Try to turn you a little bit more. There we go. Now you can see me a little bit better. Okay, that hamburger is browning really nicely. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, sweet. Now what I'm doing here, just so that you know, is I'm letting those uh, onions that are that I've put in there, the raw onions, caramelize completely. The meat is already cooked now. I already have the meat to where I want it. But I want the arm onions caramelized just a little bit more so they add that extra punch to the, the base. Now, if, if you were the kind of person that you liked yours really, really hot and spicy, hey, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you, Platinum. Thanks for enjoying it. In, in, thanks for enjoying us. Thank you for joining us, is what I meant to say. So if you want extra punch, if you wanted to add jalapenos, diced jalapenos, you would add them at this point.
All right, I've got the hamburger and the onions exactly where I want them. Now it's time to start adding, adding other ingredients. Excuse my speech impediment tonight. Hey, how you doing, Platinum Paranormal? Glad you joined us. <laughs> Sorry I started this on the wrong channel. I have two channels. This one where I do my vlogging and all kinds of stuff that I share. And my paranormal is just for paranormal. So I will be deleting that, that little faux, faux pas uh, later on once I finish this stream. So, so now we're going to turn that heat back. I'm going to go over here more to the medium towards low setting um, on your on your smooth top that would be about a four between a four and a five so i've turned it down give it one more stir here now it's time to add those diced tomatoes so i'm going to pour in the uh i'm going to pour in the hot ones first with the green chili so those go in first, just, just dump the whole can in there. Before I add the great big chunks of uh, tomatoes in there, I've got, you know, these small little bits with the green peppers. I'm going to let that heat up just a little bit, just to where there's kind of a nice little simmer on it. Doesn't take long. It's already almost about there. Sure, no problem, Platinum Paranormal. Hur hurry back. Hurry back. I got it now it's just this goes really quick you guys this is so easy it's so simple and you really can have a fast meal this way and it's really delicious you know using the canned uh, pre-cooked beans really makes this go fast so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my tomato sauce that you saw me open up earlier that little can this right here I'm gonna go ahead and add that now while this is simmering. I'm going to stir that around a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I've got terrible internet tonight. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm, you know, I know it's really like I've got bad internet tonight. But I wanted to share. I'm going to wait till that's kind of doing a slow uh, boil, uh, slow boiling, uh, slow roll, you know, kind of boiling real slow, just at a slow roll. And once I've got it boiling at a slow roll, then I will go ahead and add the, the bigger chunks of tomato. vintage vixen i th really think it's me i've had really bad internet problems tonight <laughs> and of course youtube quote google um changed the way that uh cellular devices work on live streaming so my candy haul mukbang came out totally wrong next time i'll just use this i'm using the tablet right now to record with and the phone to track keep track of chat all those you know chat messages are popping up on this screen but they're harder to read up here above and i wanted you guys to be able to see you know what i'm doing here
now is just kind of slowly trickling to a boil. I'm going to crank up the heat just a little bit more so I get that medium rolling boil. And once I get it to that medium rolling boiling point, that's when I can add the, the rest of the other ingredients. I can go ahead and add the tomatoes, the larger tomato um, pieces, and both cans of the beans, the chili style beans and the black beans. I know it, Michelle. I wish they would quit. I really, I really wish that YouTube would quit fiddling with things. You just get something figured out and they futz with it, you know? And it's more Google than it is YouTube, although I'm not using Hangouts. I'm just going directly off of YouTube Live. But the, la the last time that I used it, I could set my phone up on landscape and it worked just fine. Now it doesn't. So if you happen to watch that uh, mukbang, the Dollar Tree, <laughs> quote, health food, <laughs> junk food mukbang, uh, if you happen to watch that, you're going to see that I had some serious technical issues at the beginning. I even got dumped from the net while I was doing it. It, it just turned out bad. Okay, it's slowly getting there. It's almost to that, you know, medium roll. You know what I'm talking about? Medium boiling roll where it's kind of steady boiling, but not like crazy boiling. It's almost there. Uh, yeah, it's just part of the YouTube thing, you know, I don't even worry. I still it is what it is, you know Hey, the fact that I can even do this is just like I'm happy, you know, even if it is glitchy and stuff, but that video is That that candy live stream is horrible. <laughs> it's bad Does it keep kicking me off? I hope you guys are still seeing me. Okay. <laughs> Still here. Okay, good. Good. That's good. I'm glad. We're getting there. It's just about to the point where I can add the other ingredients. Oh, yeah. coming along nicely so here in about oh just a few I can add the the rest of the ingredients here can you see inside my pan boiling to the point where I want it yet. Uh, I cranked up the heat just a little notch more because it's not boiling exactly where I want it before I add these other ingredients. Now it's getting there. <laughs>
there. It just on my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in the other ingredients, which is one can, and I am not draining these, by the way. Just dump the juice and all in there. This is called, this is easy for a reason. Just dump the contents in there. So this is, you know, diced whole tomatoes or diced tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and dump that whole can in. And take every bit of the juice that you can get out of the can into the pot. beans. Um, I'm not going to rinse these. I'm going to dump the whole contents of this can directly into the pot. This is supposed to be easy, not difficult. <laughs> so one can of black bojoles. One can of the chili beans. You can get all of these products from Aldi. If you haven't shopped at Aldi, you need to check Aldi out. If you want to save some money, you know, these kind of basic staples are so much cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that whole can in there. The entire contents. You're hearing me rinse those cans out as I, as after I dump them. So go ahead and mix that up now. Put it in all together. Hey, hello, Boneyard. Thanks for joining us. Oh, I don't have a big enough bit there. Now, this chili will be warm, believe me, even without jalapenos in it. That's why I don't add jalapenos to it. With that can of uh, knockoff Rotelli's, uh, it'll add enough heat between the other spices that we put in here. There'll be enough heat off of this that you can scare away any spook with your breath. Just saying. Thanks for joining us, honey. Glad you're here. Oh, you can only see chat. Oh, no. Hey, Boneyard, you're more than, more than welcome, man. Glad to help. This is just, this is so easy. I mean, this is so simple. Uh, it's just one of the easiest chilies there is out there to make. It's fast. You know, once this reaches a complete steady boiling, a rolling boil again, it's ready to serve up. It's ready to eat. And, you know, from start to finish, it's about 35, maybe 40 minutes total, you know. Um... Is honest to God at a I've got it on number five, which is you know just a general medium heat. Once it starts a steady boil, which is about I don't know 20 minutes um, from this point, it's ready to eat. 
I don't even think it's 20 minutes, maybe 15. Once it's at a boiling point, it's ready to consume. If, and you don't want to do it too fast, you know. If you rush it, uh, the flavors won't have, you know, your spices and stuff won't have a chance to kind of marry together, you know. And you'll find that uh, if you try to rush it, the tomatoes, the you know, the, the pieces of tomato that I put in there uh, won't contain the other, you know, the flavoring. And so, same with the beans. You want it to marry up a little bit. So the boiling point is the, is the key. You know, and letting it come to its boiling point, not, don't rush it. Just, you know, keep it at a medium heat and put a lid on it. Oh, I'm sorry, Lynn. I'm sorry that you're having trouble. That's a real bummer. Is everybody, can you, can the rest of you guys see me live? I mean, am I, is, are you seeing me or is it just, because I've had tons of technical difficulties tonight. Okay, thank, thanks, Michelle. Uh, you know, I, I went ahead and I put my phone, um, I took my phone off of the net and I'm running it off of its cellular service. So hopefully that'll help free up some bandwidth. You know, I know I don't have great internet out here. I just don't. And, and I'm sorry, guys. This is, I live in the sticks, you know. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, hun. I appreciate you letting me know. So just so that you know, um, uh, because these beans will tend to have a tendency to, to stick um, to the bottom of your pan and scorch, every few minutes I open the lid and give it a stir just so that they're not sticking to the bottom of the pan and scorching. too much longer and it'll be ready to sample and, and I'll go ahead and sample it in front of you and let you know how it tastes. Oh yeah. Reading chat while I have my back turned to you. <laughs> you know, live streams or videos like these is you guys can see step by step each phase that you get to go that you gotta go through in order to achieve a dish like that. Oh yeah. No no worries. That's right. Yeah, if you if you don't stir it from time to time, if you just let it simmer in there, walk away from it. And maybe you don't get that with your, I know you have a, don't you have a gas? You have gas. Um, you know, this is an electric smooth top. So works a little differently. And I find that if I don't stir it every so often, you know, it'll, it'll stick. And then you get, you know, scorched beans. And that's, that's not yummy. <laughs> Nothing yummy about scorched beans or hamburger in a chili. That's just not good. <laughs> oh yeah, it, 
it's it smells it smells amazing and it and honest to god it won't be too much longer and i'll be able to take a nice big old um, oh yeah it's gonna be good oh you're welcome bones and hey i appreciate you showing up no problem thanks so much for dropping in and you're welcome you know uh I'm, I'm happy to subscribe anybody that subscribes me. I'm all about sharing the support, you know. That's kind of what we're here for is to support each other and share with each other. That's the name of the game. So at any rate, you're welcome. And have a good evening. Get a good night's rest. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm still staying here till I can sample this. Yeah, oh, Michelle, it's nice. It's nice. It's a nice. It's got a spicy. It's a spicy and nicey. It's a nice, it's a nice. Hey, Tink, how you doing, honey? How you doing? We're doing sleazy peasy cheating chili tonight, honey. Easy sleazy peasy cheating chili. And if you, I know you missed like the majority of this, just go back and replay it and you'll see all of the ingredients and just how super simple this easy peasy sleazy cheesy recipe really is. I know, I know it, right? <laughs> yes, girl. You, you saw my mascara thing going on the other day, didn't you? Didn't you see that? Oh, yeah. That tells a lot about me, doesn't it? me that was nice wasn't it I bet you guys love that huh yeah yeah you you love it girl you love it you know you love it you want it you can't have it you can't touch it <laughs> <laughs> I won't quit my day job. What's the matter there, Bridget? I can't pet you, baby girl. I can't pet you. No, I can't. I can't pet you. You can't get your dirty fur on me. No. Look out, girl. Look out. <laughs> my corgi wants in on this dish. I know it. I know I'm not right in the head. <laughs> Never said I was. <laughs> Is anybody? Seriously, who's normal? Do you... Where are they? What is normal? <laughs> I don't know what's normal. <laughs> Explain it to me because I really don't know. You know? I'm wearing hooker red again. It's 10.33 and I'm making freaking chili. What's that tell you? I'm a night owl. <laughs> Easy peasy sleazy chili late at night. And you know, you can, you can watch 
just like in your bed, drooling over the sexy hot chili. Mm. Mm. You know you want it. You know you do. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. How you doing? Welcome to my easy peasy sleazy chili hangout recipe thing that we're doing here at a really odd time at night, but who gives a rats? You missed it. You missed my easy peasy sleazy dance? Shame on you. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. I hope you can see it. Can you see see how it's boiling? Can you see? Can you see the boiling point? It's ready! <laughs> Believe it or not, yes it is. It's ready Freddy. Let's dish that dish up, shall we? That's right, honey. I got it going on. I always got it cooking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's sample it, shall we? Shit, I want to go to bed with major heartburn. <laughs> woo, woo. to move it off the burner. She continues to cook even though I turn that doggone sucker off. Okay. I'm going to serve it up now. Just look at it. Can you see it? Look at it. Oh, yeah. Major goodness. All right. As you can see, she's hot. She's hot. She's steamy. <laughs> Just like me. Okay guys, here goes, here goes, the true test, right? Ready? Ready? Okay, here we go, here we go, I was just seeing what you guys were saying. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, it's, temp it's hot. Um, it touched my lips. Uh, that's what she said. Oh, hell yes. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. You guys need to try this. <laughs> Hang on, I can't see what you're saying. God, yes. Mm. It's so good. If you haven't watched this from beginning to end, you need to. Okay, what are you saying here? I'm going to pull you off this cord here for a second so I can see what you're saying. Okay. It's... It's very unsettling, chilly at midnight. <laughs> well, it's midnight where you are. It's not midnight where I am. Um, it made me, I made pasta today with like a hundred meatballs. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, you missed it, honey. I did the whole, you missed the whole hotness that went on here. You really missed something. <laughs> oh, Phantom. Yes, watch it again because you missed some serious <laughs> tomfoolery. <laughs> Tank, if I had 5,000 pounds of meatballs, like two tablespoons of pasta sauce and a gigantic bowl of pasta, I got issues. <laughs> I hear you, Tank. I hear you. Really looks simple to make. It's super simple to make. Damn, nearly pool season. That's right, guys. Look out, floaty wars coming at you again. I'll probably do another one of those <laughs> just for the hell of it, because <laughs> I'm weird like that. Uh, I made pulled barbecue chip. Oh my God, Michelle, that sounds delicious. Yes, Vintage and Vixen made some, mm, that sounds good, girl. That sounds so good. Mm. And those meatballs tank. Ooh. Yes, yes, guys. What did you make, guys? Beans and weenies? Huh? <laughs> I rated PG. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. I have left a half of a pot of meatballs on the stove. I don't know what to do with. Send those the meatballs over here, baby girl. <laughs> I know what to do with them. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Ugh. Oh, God, guys. I'll tell you what. For those of you who aren't sub to each other, please sub to each other. Support each other, man. You know, um sub up, you know. You're going to send them to the garbage can? Sacrilege. What? That's horrible. Oh, death to the meatballs. Damn, I would never do that to any of my favorite kind of balls. Oh, yeah. I'm going to send them to the... Okay, I already read that part. Well, oh, my. Oh, my is right. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you guys learn a really easy-peasy, so sleazy, cheating chili... Fast as heck. I mean, seriously, how this was quick. Uh, you know, I don't know what time I started this, but this was, you know, it, it's about as fast as you're ever going to make chili. I've made, I can make it the long way too, but it takes a really long time, you know, starting with the raw beans and all that. Frozen balls. A little bit of blue ball going on there, Tank. Dinkity, dinkity, dink. -a -dink, dink. Dink, dink. <laughs> I ain't right. I just ain't right. Nothing wrong with the long way. No, there's nothing wrong with the long way at all. 
the reason that I did this was really so that people could see that, you know, if you've got these ingredients kicking around, it, it doesn't cost that much to make, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good sized pot I made there, here. You know, there's enough there for, you know, a couple meals for a couple people. Um, and, it, you know, it's not going to cost a fortune. It's really fast, you know. Uh, that's why I showed it this way. And I, I make it the other way, too. You know, I actually prefer the long way. But if you're hungry and it's cold outside and you're trying to warm yourself up, this is a really fast, easy way to do it. And I just had a bug at my butt to do something. And so I thought this would be a good thing to share. You're trying to get your husband to eat the meat, the balls? He doesn't want your balls. Well, maybe he does, but I don't know. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> People are talking about frozen balls and long ways, and I still, <laughs> and it's still a good constraint. Yes, Scott, it is. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's the YouTube way. <laughs> I don't think he wants my, I don't think he wants them. They're too small. LOL, big guys, says, Vix, vintage vixen that's michelle by the way so yeah that's right it, it's too bad it wasn't really easy to just invite buddy i'm not doing you know this isn't a this isn't through google hangout so otherwise i'd just invite one of y'all up here a couple of y'all up here but you know to come on panel but i didn't go through google hangouts i can't do that through either one of these android devices i can only do that if i'm running my pc and to bring the PC in here and set up the camera, this is just so much quicker and easier. And I was just in a quick mood to do something fast, you know, just fast. Yeah, next time, next time, correct. Because I can set that camera up anywhere. You know, I could set the camera, you know, from the PC anywhere I want on a tripod. So next time I'll, you know, think a little ahead of time instead of just shooting from the hip. This is shooting from the hip. You lost me. You lost me? I'm sorry. I'm right here. I, I didn't go anywhere. I apologize. <laughs> He's asking me what to do with my balls in the pot. not going there. <laughs> I could go there, but I won't. <laughs> it's the stream. It's, yeah, the stream keeps stalling. I'm sorry, honey. I, I'm going to shut it down anyways. I just w really wanted to let you guys see how you could, hopefully it'll, on playback, it'll be a lot better to watch. And I'm sorry that it keeps, I just got really rotten internet out here because I'm out in the sticks and it's running off a little dish into the vast whatever universe yeah I'm sorry guys but I, I'm gonna go ahead and end it and I appreciate all of you coming Mwah! I love you all so much thank you so much so for those of you that came God bless you and as always stay true to yourselves love yourselves and be kind to others if you haven't subbed each other up sub each other up Bye, guys. I'm going to end it. <laughs> Good night, everybody.